What's up YouTube? It's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. Alright, so check this out guys. So this is the 20 gallon tank and it is currently in the process of a water change. It's been about a week. So I'm going to go ahead and give them that water change. And I, I just wanted to point out real quick how nice my baby angelfish are looking. Um, I believe they are now juveniles. Like these are dime sized angelfish that I could sell right now but I mean there's only seven of them so I can't really sell them you know for anything you know that's worth shipping them out if I needed to um, but they're really nice this one really stands out it has that yellow in it and uh, also has some black markings the other ones just mainly look like silvers um, some of them have really nice fins some of them have stubby fins um, but the ones with the stubby fin like that one uh, the fin is really thick and uh, I like it but then you also have one that's pretty kind of long like that one and uh, well this one looks like he has the perfect traits from the mother and the father because the father has the good fin genetics and then the mother has the nice color patterns and color tone so this one looks awesome but uh, the koi is doing great and the marble is doing absolutely fantastic and uh, yeah I'll show you guys um, how they look after the water change as well and I'll feed them a little bit more alright guys so now that I have my clean filters and because I have a hang on the back filter and I have a sponge filter in here um, I cleaned the sponge filter out in tank water um, I didn't bother messing with the HOB filter back there but I feel like I should be good for another week or so and then I can do another water change. But let's see if these guys uh, want to eat. I'm pretty sure they do. They always want to eat. Um, I'm willing to bet that the marble, actually the koi, is going to have the most aggressive eating behavior right now. Let's watch. I'm getting some flakes right now. Left handed. See, I mean... Did you guys see that? Look at him. It's not the marble, it's the koi. Look at him. There we go. By the way guys, it's not a good idea to uh, ruin your good clean water with uh, flake food. But, you know, I like to spoil them. So, I think right now I need to feed them as much as I can. Um, for the next week or so, just to kind of uh, get them a little swole, get them nice and ready um, when I move them. I think I'm going to have to move all of these guys together to a bigger tank, um, but for right now, they're going to do just fine in a 20 gallon tank. Um, it's a little bit more work because it's a smaller tank. I'll have to do more water changes as they grow, um, but nothing I can't handle, so. I'm good. But yeah. Everybody likes the marble more than the koi. Um, I like them both. I really do. I really like that one. But the koi... I really like the koi. Um, he's showing a lot more intense uh, orange on him. Uh, he looks... He's looking really good. Alright guys, so we're done with this tank. Let's go ahead and move on to the 75 gallon tank. So I can show you guys how the young ones are doing. Let's go ahead and go. Alright guys, check it out. My baby angelfish, they are, they're doing okay for the most part. But, you know, I'm not gonna pretend, you know, that everything's at 100% right now. Um, I still got a good handful over here and they're pretty decent sized ones. And these are the ones that I feel like they're gonna make it for sure. Um, there's a few smaller ones in here that, you know, I'm kind of doubting that they'll make it, um, but uh, hopefully they do. Um, yeah, most of them are eating flakes. They're still brown algae. Um, a lot of people are telling me I need to rescape this tank, and you guys are right. You know, I think I've had it scaped this way for about three years now, like pretty much when I started my channel. So I'm definitely gonna rescape this tank. Um, I mean, all I have in this tank really is just Crips and Anubias. I don't have anything else in here. These Crips are so old. 
I feel like they stopped growing to be honest. I have been dosing liquid fertilizer. So this is the liquid fertilizer that I use. It's called Thrive. It's by New... I can't pronounce that but it's right there. There's their website. Um, I've been using this for about a week now in the 75 gallon tank. Um, I can't say anything about the plants because I haven't been using it long enough to to say anything about that. Um, but I really don't like this. Um, it's really dirty. So if you plan on getting one of these and you're going to use it, uh, make sure that you always clean uh, the tip before. Always clean this area after you're done using it. So that way you don't get this because it's gross. Right now my focus is not making sure that the plants look good. Um, I just want to make sure these guys are doing good. And you know for the most part they are. Um, there is a dead one over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's uh, it's like right there. It's like a... There we go. That's as much focus you guys are going to get. But it's right there towards the middle. Um, looks like one of the angels died. But I haven't seen any other dead bodies in that one today. Um, you know at first I was losing like maybe 10 or 15 at a time. And I had a lot. And uh, a lot of them were dropping real fast. Um, and now it looks like I, it seems like I got everything under control, but you know, who knows tomorrow is going to be a different day. Um, I'm just letting you know, let you, letting you guys know right now they're doing great. And, uh, I really like the ones that have this yellow, um, color on them. Like they kind of look like gold coys, but, uh, I really like them. And, uh, if they stop moving around so much, um, I can get some good shots of them, but, uh, here we go. Look how nice they look. They look great. I really, I can't wait to see these guys grown up. So there's only like three of them though. Uh, most of them are silvers. But here's another yellow one. That has like patterns to them and stuff. If I can just get my camera to focus. Focus. Oh yeah, there he is. I like that one. And then you have another one right there in the middle. I can't wait to see these guys get really big. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and feed these guys. And show you guys how they get down when it comes to grow up session. I'm just going to go ahead and just give them a really small pinch. Crush it up as much as I can. And just kind of evenly spread it out everywhere. And uh, then they'll start going for it. And there we go. We got some hungry baby angels feeding on some flakes. They're everywhere. Let's hope these guys make it. Hopefully I didn't overfeed. I don't think I put too much in there. Yeah, I didn't put too much in there. And then you got these guys who just wait at the bottom. And they'll just wait till it falls to them and then they'll start going after all the food. But you got some stragglers who uh just prefer to eat algae instead of the flakes. It's amazing how small they are and yet they still survive in a uh, huge aquarium like this and you know I figured some of them would get stuck in the gravel and stuff like that but they actually bury themselves in the crypts back there. They love going in those plants and just hiding in there and sleeping in there. And then the next day they just come out like this. And then they just expect me to feed them every time I come to the uh, aquarium. But yeah, those are my baby angels. So they're doing fine for the most part. So uh, I'm glad I was able to give you guys an update with uh, 
some pretty decent news about those guys. Let's move on to these two uh, bad parents over here. But uh, before I start criticizing, I really just want to say they look different. Um, I really noticed that with this female angelfish, she colors up a lot. Um, she changes a lot of colors. Like now she's like a black, grayish color. And uh, she's really dark and faint. Um, before, like when I first got her, she was like mostly white. Um, the front side of her head was yellow, like a bright yellow, and uh, she was, uh, she had, you know, rosy cheeks, but now she's like dark. And uh, same with this guy. He's, uh, he didn't change too much, but he's like a, he's like a darker bronze now. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, these guys are doing well. They need a water change. Um, now as far as the babies that were in here, they did hatch. And uh, they survived two days of free swimming. And uh, then they just started dying. Um, I didn't try to feed them or anything like that. Um, I was just seeing if they were um, going to take care of them on their own. But apparently not. Um, but yeah, they really need a water change. I'm going to give them a water change pretty soon. That sponge filter looks dirty. Looks really dirty. So I need to take care of that. But anyways, that's pretty much my, my update for right now. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Thank you, young God, for the blessing, ayy. Hey.